Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 24th of May. The local media headlines today. Now, if you had £132 million to spend to improve the economic and social fabric of Cornwall, how would you spend it? You've got to spend some of it this year. It's all got to be gone after three years. It's called the Shared Prosperity Fund. Now, it sounds like a lot of money, but it's actually worth only £76 per person per year. Cornwall councillors have started debating their shopping list, and now somehow they've got to arrive at a decision in only a few weeks. Meanwhile, people arriving for a full council meeting this morning will be met by a tent city of climate protesters. They set up camp on the lawns of County Hall in the early hours of yesterday morning. There's been another serious road traffic accident near Lost Withiel. Pirate FM told us that a woman had to be airlifted to hospital after a crash on the A390. Earlier this month, a motorcyclist was killed in another accident near the town. The Falmouth Packet said St Austell Brewery is planning a new beer to mark the Queen's Jubilee. The Cornish Times warned that co-op shelves might run out of produce because of looming industrial action. The Camelford and Delibol Post congratulated Alton and Primary School pupils on their pizza-making skills. And finally, Cornwall Live looks forward to another TV series about Cornwall. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.